everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tyra Janae back with another video. I have a very exciting video today. I'm going to be giving you guys an apartment essentials haul. If you guys don't already know, I am going to be moving out of my parents' house probably in like December, January. I don't have a set date yet, but I'm going to be moving out. So I've already started to get things every time, like maybe like once a week, I'll go out, get everything on my list that I have and I'll start shopping. Before we get started in this video, make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel for more because I have a lot of new videos coming, new ideas, apartment stuff, makeup, hair, videos, lifestyle, all those type of videos. So make sure you guys are subscribed and put on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. That's very important, okay? So let's go ahead and get started into the video. So like I said, I've been buying things every, you know, once a week to... So when it's time for me to move out, it's not like a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't gotten yet. I'll already be prepared. I, that's a really good tip. If you guys are planning on moving out, start buying your stuff a couple months in advance so that when it's time to actually move on moving day, you won't be like overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that you have to buy because you already have to worry about deposits and first month's rent and application fees. You don't have to worry about everything else. Also, a tip for you guys um, is to make a list, like make a list in your notes because I didn't realize how much stuff I needed until I made my list and I'm like, oh shoot, this is a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys my list. So this is my apartment essentials list. I have it separated by room. So this is my kitchen stuff. And once I um, get what I need, I click on it and it brings it to the bottom of the list. So these are the things that are checked off that I already got that you guys will see in this video. And then here's my bedroom, living room, bathroom, and like cleaning supplies slash miscellaneous things. So that's my list. So make sure you guys make a list if you're not really sure or you think you have everything, but you probably really don't. So the stuff that I got right now is kitchen things. I got a few things for like the living room and bathroom, but I mainly focus on the kitchen stuff first because of course, this is my first time moving out, so I don't have any kitchen stuff. Like I have a mug, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so most of the stuff in this video is gonna be kitchen appliances. And then I still have to get bedroom, I have to finish getting bathroom stuff and stuff for my living room. So that will be all in probably like another video or two, two more videos. So like I said, make sure you subscribe so you can see when I post. These are going to be from Walmart, um, Ollie's, and Ross for now, yeah. And I have some couponing stuff um, that I'll get into later. So let's start with Walmart. Walmart, I did an online order. Um, the total was like $150 and I got a lot of appliances. Oh, and I have stuff from Amazon too. Of course I have stuff from Amazon. I don't. So the first thing from Walmart I got is this crock pot. Um, I think all of my appliances were under $20. I thought I was going to go and order like Walmart first, but everything is everywhere. So it's going to be mixed up. I'll tell you where everything is from though. This next thing is a muffin tray. This is from Walmart. It was $5.99. Just simple muffin tray. I do like to bake and I plan on cooking a lot when I move out. This is from Amazon. It's an electric key, electric kettle. I love tea, so I had to get this. Um, the things from Amazon I didn't pay for because I applied for their credit card and they gave me a $75 credit. The stuff from Amazon and Walmart I will list, I will link in the description box below just in case you guys want it. This I got from Ross. It's just a simple cooking um, cutting board from Barberware. This was $5.99. My theme in my kitchen is like silver, white, gray. This does have blue on it, but I got it because it was super cheap and it's the kind of one that I wanted. So I was like, whatever, it's gonna go in the drawer anyway. My grandma gave me these mixing bowls. I don't know where she bought them from, so I'm sorry. I don't go with my color scheme, but hey, it was a free gift, so I'll take it. So from Ross, I picked up these white and gray um, kitchen towels. It's a set of two for $3.99. They're really cute. And then I also picked up this utensil holder for when you're cooking. You can set your utensils on it so it doesn't get everywhere. The mess doesn't get everywhere. This was $4.99. Also from Ross, I got, oh this is for the bathroom. I got these marble gray shower curtain holders. My bathroom is going to be like white, black, gray, marble kind of thing. I was thinking of adding a splash of color like pink or something, but 
I'm not really into color like that, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. If I do add a pop of color, it'll probably be in my bedroom. And then I got this measuring cup. It's a really big measuring cup. It was on clearance for $3, so I had to get it. And then from Ross, I got these stone um, coasters. It's a set of four and they're $5.99. They're super heavy, but so I got this mug from Ross. It says prayer changes everything. On the back it says prayer without ceasing. First Thessalonians 517. This mug was $3.99. So it's a good start for my collection. Next up is from Walmart. It's this waffle maker. It was $17.88. My grandmother bought me this knife set. Um, I don't I don't know where she got it from, but I'm gonna ask her and I'll leave the link in the description box below if it's able to be purchased online. Next up are these kitchen set, dishes set. My grandmother got me these as well. She got them off of Macy's. They were on sale, they were $15. She thought it was such a good sale that she bought two of them, so I have two of these. Um, it comes with 16 piece dinnerware set, four dinner plates, four salad plates, four dinner bowls, and four um, 11 ounce mugs. Just simple white dishes, that's what I wanted. Next up, um, I went to, oh, I also went to Burlington <laughs> and I bought these dish sets. No, did I get this from Burlington? No, I'm sorry, I got this from Walmart. I forgot how much these were, but they had to be no more than like $17. So I got a set of this. Um, it comes with eight tall glasses and eight short glasses. Next up, I got a big trash can from Walmart. It was $14.99. A lot of apartments that I've been looking at, um, some of them come with trash cans, some of them don't. So I just bought one just in case. I got this from Ross. It's a Rubbermaid plastic container set. This is perfect if you are taking your lunch to work or to school or just to store things after you cook it. I got this on clearance for $7.99. It's a 24-piece set. Next, I got this from Burlington. These are um, stainless steel reusable straws. I want to, you know, save the earth, save the turtles. So I got these. They're $4.99 and they come with a little pouch if you want to travel with them. So I got, thought that was cute. Next up is this blender from Walmart. I love making smoothies. I thought this would be helpful for me if I have to cook and I have to blend something up. I can just pop it right into the blender. This was $26.99. It's really cute. Next, I got this set of white wine glasses. I'm gonna be using it for any kind of wine. I don't care if white, red, Moscato, whatever. <laughs> so I got this from Burlington. It was $6.99. If you're moving out or trying to get home stuff in general, Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all those places are your go-to for really nice but affordable um, pieces. And then for my wine, I got a wine opener. This is an electric wine opener. It was $4.99. And this is from Burlington. And also from Burlington, I got a set of six shot glasses. You know, if I have friends over and want to take a little shot, we have these. These were $2.99, really cheap. So yeah, I try. Yeah. I've been putting all my stuff in boxes, so when it's time to move, it's just easy and just tape it up and we're ready to go. Next up, my grandma got me this air fryer cookbook from Ollie's. It was $6.99. She's giving me our old air fryer when I move out, so she bought me this so I could cook with it. <laughs> also, my grandma got me this trash plastic trash bag holder. It can go on the inside of like one of your cabinet drawers. I don't know where she got it from, but I will leave the link in the description box. And from Ollie's, I picked up a utensil set. It's a 20-piece set. Um, two large forks, two small forks, two large spoons, two small spoons, and um, knives. I just got a simple design. They have a lot of patterns, but I don't like stuff like that, so I just got simple design. This is from Amazon. It's a sponge holder, so it goes inside of your sink, and you just put it on the side of it, and you can put your sponges or washcloth, wash rags, or whatever. This had to be no more than $5. And then my grandma got me a recipe book. I gotta sit down with her one day and get all of her recipes, so I, when I move out, I can cook. <laughs> And then this bag has a bunch of kitchen utensils. I don't want to take them all out, but 
just a bunch of different utensils. I got this set off of Amazon. It comes with measuring spoons, stuff like this. All the utensils you can think of, it comes with it. And I bought it as a set like that. Just a starter set. I mean, it's a cheap set, but it had good reviews on it, so I just decided to get it. It was probably no more than $20. I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys. Is this dishware set or cooking set? I mean, it's a 16 piece um, set from Farberware. That's a pretty good brand. Um, it's durable aluminum, smart glide, dishwasher safe, oven safe up to 500 degrees, lead and commodium free, and it's non stick. And it also comes with six um, kitchen tools. If you guys can see that right in the corner and this was from Ollie's and it was $59.99 so this is perfect okay I have one more box I'm telling you guys I'll make sure I get every single thing I can before I move in so when I move in the only thing I have to worry about is like setting up you know electricity the cable internet blah 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 and go grocery shopping like everything else I want to have done Besides for like decorating pieces, I feel like for decorating, once you get inside your space and see how it feels and then you go out shopping, the pieces will find you. So that's why I haven't really got a lot of decorative stuff yet because when that time comes, I'll find the right pieces that I need or want. From Ollie's, I picked up a bunch of spices. So I have Italian seasoning, chili powder, crushed red pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, well, I have two of those, chicken seasoning, and onion powder. Um, each of these were 97 cents and they're really big bottles. I picked up this cooking pan, you know if you want to put some fries in really quick or a chicken patty or something you just throw it in here and it was $4.99. Next up is from Amazon. I got a broom holder, broom or like um, mop holder. So this will go stick on the wall and you can hold your um, brooms on it. Now this is really cool instead of just sticking everything in one spot and it falls over and it just takes up space. This is perfect. From Walmart, I got a set of three cooking trays. They have a large, medium, and small. This was like $4, I think really good fry. So for my closet, I'm going to take out all of my like plastic white clear hangers and I'm going to do all black velvet hangers. So I got two sets right now. I have to get like three or four more because I calculated it and I need like 150 hangers. <laughs> so I got this set from Ollie's. Not Ollie's. I got this set from Aldi. If you guys know about Aldi, it's a grocery store but they do sell like household items and decorative pieces. So I got this. This was on sale for $7.99 and it comes with a set of 30, which is really good. I should have got more from them, but I wasn't thinking. So I'll probably, if they don't have any more, I'll have to get the rest from Amazon. And then this set, it's a set of 30 as well, I got from Amazon. And they basically look the same, black velvet hangers. So right now I have 60 hangers and I got like 90 more. <laughs> this set was a little bit more expensive than the $7.99 set, but again, I didn't pay for it because I used the credit from my Amazon gift card. So, that was free. Okay, one more box. So, these are microwave covers. When you put your food in the microwave, you just put it on top. Um, I ordered two. Well, my grandmother ordered me two. I just wanted one. These had to be like a dollar, two dollars. But when they came in the package, they gave me three. So I have three of these. <laughs> I got this Rubbermaid utensil divider. Um, I think this was from Walmart. Yeah, it was from Walmart. It was probably like $5 or less. And then I got a Hamilton Beach Chrome Toaster. Of course, it goes with my theme of stainless steel and black. And this was $14.96 from Walmart. I also picked up a paper towel holder from Walmart. The last things I got are glass cooking trays, so like for macaroni or something like that. 
So I got a small one from Ollie's, it's $3.99. A larger one for $5.99. So that is everything I got so far. Like I said, it's a lot of kitchen items, but this is my first time moving out, so I don't have a lot of kitchen things. So that's what the first bulk of stuff I've been getting. Next up, I'm gonna be going to Home Goods and stuff like that, Ikea, and getting stuff for like my bedroom, um, living room, and bathroom. Before we end the video, I wanna talk to you guys about couponing. If you don't already know, I am a couponer. Um, I get um, toiletries cleaning items, toothbrush, body wash, all that stuff, and I coupon for it, so I really don't pay much of anything. Um, so I will do a separate video for you guys, teaching you guys how to coupon. I'm out of breath. <sighs> One second. So like I said, I will be showing you guys how to coupon. I can do that in a separate video. If you guys like, just leave a comment below or like this video so I'll know. But this stuff is filled with cleaning supplies now that's another thing when you first move into your own apartment you're gonna have to start buying that stuff for you so if you live with your parents most of the time they will buy it or you might contribute a little bit but when you move out you have to contribute to everything <laughs> so i've been couponing for stuff for like the past couple months and um so when i move out i don't have to worry about it so i'm just going to go through really quickly what i have so far and like I said, in a separate video, I could show you guys how much I pay for everything, the total cost, with my coupon. So I just got some Lysol um, all-purpose cleaner. I like this one because it actually kills the bacteria and the germs. I have some Glade um, spray carpet cleaner. Most of the stuff that I coupon for, I coupon at CVS because that's where I currently work at. I don't really know the couponing rules for Walgreens and stuff like that. This I actually got from Dollar Tree. It's carpet cleaner. This is dish soap, Palmala dish soap. That's what you need. Some Fabuloso. I bought some hand soap refill. I'd rather buy the big one of these and then just buy the containers from like Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond or TJ Maxx Home Goods or something like that That's and then keep refilling it. I'm not going to buy the small ones of these because then you just have to throw it away. Mouthwash. Toothpaste. Laundry detergent. Actually, I'm going to have a cute little setup for my Tide Pods when I move in. I'll let you guys in on my secret later. But detergent, detergent is one of the most popular couponing items. I don't pay much of anything for detergent. I have about 20 bottles right now. So, I have toilet bowl cleaner and another dish soap. And then the rest of the stuff I picked up from Dollar Tree. Just because it would have been cheaper to get it from Dollar Tree, really, than the coupon for it right now because I ran the coupons. <laughs> so I got um, some dishwasher liquid. I got sets of gloves, one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. I got some sponges. And this is a clean like pan. I got some glass cleaner. I got a reusable cleaning cloth like to clean the windows or the mirrors, some bag clips, and this is supposed to be used for when you wash dishes, but I'm going to use it for the bathtub. And that's all I've gotten so far as far as cleaning stuff. Oh, and I also got a coupon for toilet paper and paper towels. Those are in my trunk though. So I will be couponing for more of these items. Like I said, I like to stock up. If I get stuff for a dollar or two, I like to stock up so I don't have to worry about it for a few months. 
and that's going to be very important when I move out and be on my own. So I will give you guys a separate video showing you how I coupon like I said. So that's all I have so far for my apartment essentials. I will be doing two to three more videos about this because I have a lot of stuff, more stuff to buy. So stay tuned for those videos. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and comment any questions or concerns that you guys have. Or if you guys are moving out, let me know your experiences. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.